Rocky Oldham is with us. He is uh, a, a, a filmmaker, a director, a producer, an activist. AstroTurf Wars, TV, the TV version Billionaire's Tea Party. AstroTurfWars.com is the website, A-S-T-R-O, Turf Wars. And uh, Taki, first of all, welcome, welcome to the program. Thank you. Tell us what this documentary is that you did. Well, uh, originally the documentary, the first one I did, um, was basically looking at the rise of the anti-Obama movement through 2009, mm -hmm. and specifically the role of corporate backers. And, and the term AstroTurf, um, which the film uses the word AstroTurf Wars, the term AstroTurf is, your listeners are probably pretty familiar with it by now, it's basically the creation of fake grassroots citizens groups. Right to disguise what's often a corporate interest. And, and so I basically went around um, posed as a kind of a curious, budding fiscal conservative and, uh, and, and effectively infiltrated what was going on around the Tea Party movement, the healthcare debate, and the opposition to the climate change. Uh, the, the opposition to climate change. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, the climate, you know, yeah. the cap and trade bill, and sure. so pretty much I and I interviewed a, a bunch of whistleblowers and propaganda experts, and and really looked at the role of what turned out to be all very well, incredibly connected, and all leading back to the free market movement, and specifically uh, the Koch brothers. And, hmm. and then the, the new version of that film basically really just focuses much more on the Koch brothers and it looks at what happened in 2010 and how the rise of the Tea Party movement and specifically that first year, how it went from just being a sort of a vague anger at a government that had stopped listening to the people to a very specific message of a very radical right-wing free market capitalism. Right. And, and really what groups were involved which, which basically in. means let the Koch brothers do whatever they damn well please and if the rest of us get cancer or get poor tough luck exactly so I mean it covers everything from getting rid of public education to all forms of welfare and the social safety net to the environment and food and any form of regulation on corporations so it's a very extreme vision and it's what you're starting to see happen uh, this year in America which, which is the post election effect of, of this uh, ideology starting to, to take right. hold in places like the Wisconsin with the, the union busting and, and obviously the, the budget. Taki, I'm, I, I'm assuming from your uh, accent that you're Australian? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm curious how an Australian views what's going on in the United States. I've spent a fair amount of time in your country. People take it for granted that you've got a national health care system. Um, yeah. You know, they, uh, they take it for granted that there's that there's uh, you know a, a old age pension. You have a, nearly a hundred percent participation in elections. Uh, the, the the selling and buying of politicians is a crime in your country to a large extent. Um, I realize you have some problems. I spent a couple hours with the head of your Democratic Party, and uh, but but still, I'm curious as an Australian, you look at America. What 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 goes through your mind? Well. One of the main differences that I've seen that people ask me, do you have the equivalent of something like the Tea Parties in Australia? And I say no, and it could never really happen because I think we don't... For something like that, which has had a lot of propaganda involved in it, um, right. you have to have a base... You have to have something to manipulate. And in America, there is a very ingrained sense of nationalism and national pride and, and, and this reverence for founding fathers. And it's something that happens right from, you know, the pledges of allegiance in school and, and, and that sort of thing. And I think that whilst that, that's a wonderful thing to have pride in the country, mm. um, it, it also can be manipulated. And that's what you see. I mean, everything from, you know, through the, from the 30s, right through to sort of the 60s, you had that whole people like the but, Chambers of but, Commerce manipulating capitalism equals freedom. You had the reds under the bed. All that sort of stuff sure. is a platform that can't really happen in Australia. We're, we're kind of cynical about that. We just kind of... Yeah. Well, I, you know, Rupert Murdoch started in Australia. I mean, you know, I've, I, I've, I've read your newspapers there. I know, I, I, what, is it the Australian? What's the name of the, the major right-wing newspaper that's... Uh... Well, it, yeah, Murdoch, there's the Australian, which is a national one. He yeah. pretty much owns... Uh, a tabloid in every state as well. Yeah. So it's not like Australia doesn't have its right-wing cranks and its and its propaganda, but 
but it, it the, the, this whole idea of a couple of billionaires basically in the background very quietly setting up a, a national movement that national movement getting election uh, politicians elected and they're creating a uh, a mindset that really only benefits the billionaires but is being promoted by average working people who are just being duped you're suggesting that couldn't happen in australia um i, I you know and, and i and i think you're probably right um uh, we're talking with Taki Oldham, his new f film. Tell us, uh, astroturfwars.com is where you can find the information. Um, it, it says that the TV version is going to be called Billionaire's Tea Party. When and where is it going to show on TV? Oh, so I was afraid you were going to ask me this question. Oh, <laughs> you're working on it, okay. <laughs> no, 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 it has. It's, it's been shown in a number of countries already, and a number uh -huh. of countries coming up. In the States, it's been shown at the moment on Link TV. Oh, good. There's a couple more screenings coming up. It's been shown over the last couple of weeks. Uh -huh. um, so if you just go to, what is it, linktv.org, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, that'll have screening information there. It actually already, it's also has been sold to Russia today, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not 100% sure if it's already been sold, uh, shown or is coming up. But I'll, I'll put, yeah. also billionairesteaparty.com is, is for the new version. I will put screening information up right. on that. Okay, at the moment, great. you can actually see the film for free online um, right. if you and go to billionairesteaparty.com. Billionairesteaparty.com. And, and you are right now on the air on Free Speech TV, on, on Dish and Direct the Network. You might want to talk to them about picking up the uh, documentary as well because um, I know that they play a lot of them. In any case, Taki Oldham, Taki, thanks so much for being with us and for the great work that you're doing. My pleasure, Tom. Thanks it for was, having me. It was revelatory.